Hey, I'm Kat, that's Red behind the camera. And this is his van. We're in beautiful Scotland. And seeing as I'm always filming and taking photos of the Vivaro, I thought I would show you around. jump right in. Um, so this is the coat hanger. <laughs> um, they're actually super strong, I'll just show you. It's a magnetic hook. We have so many of these all around the van. So they just got there and like, it's a pretty heavy jacket and my cardigan on that one hook right there. We normally put our raincoats and stuff up there. I'll just take them down for now. So this is a sofa. It's got two pillows on it. The rest of the pillows are down there and it turns into the bed for nighttime mode. But uh, we'll show you that later when we actually get it out when we go to bed. So it was way too dark to show the bed. So we'll just show you how it goes back together into the sofa so blankets just sort of go away into the cupboard and duvet and pillows go back into the cupboard as well they go down into the bottom on top of the diesel heater and then two pillows go back in and two pillows stay out and then the bed sheet comes off yeah the mattress definitely needs reupholstering <laughs> seen better days and then yeah, the end piece of the mattress goes down the bottom. And then this is the magic of how it goes back up into sofa mode. I mean, it's kind of semi-standard folding futon bed. So yeah, so the end of the bed is supported just on the storage box. And then it just lifts and folds. So it has a little, oh, so what's that? That's a little pin going in there to hold that in place. And when it's in bed mode, you stick a metal rod all the way through, don't you, to support it. Okay. And we have sofa. This is another seat. So generally whoever's cooking gets this seat and whoever's being lazy gets that seat. And in here, um, it's kind of a mix of things. The picnic blankets in here. There's a little laptop desk in here. Um, there's lots of our swimming and the wetsuits have been in here on this trip, but sometimes we put boots in here. Dirty laundry goes in here so that it doesn't smell out the rest of the van. Oh, Red's boots are in there this time. Uh, so under, under the sofa slash bed are these pretty ideal sized boxes, which Red did actually build the space under here specifically to fit these they're just ikea boxes so this one currently is storing like my camera gear and my kind of toiletries and my hiking stuff because i need extra space and the middle one is pretty much purely food so some pot noodles some tinned veg snacks wraps bread bagels all the carbs um and then the end one I'm not actually sure what's in here. Oh, microfiber towels, eggs, spare water, bits and bobs. Giant marshmallows. Giant marshmallows. Very important. <laughs> and then if we come up to the cabinet, um, I'll sit on the sofa with my slippers. Uh, so the, the cupboard is like wardrobe slash electricals slash basically everything. So this is my very messy wardrobe. 
this is Red's very neat wardrobe with his clothing cubes and neat little bag of toiletries. And then we've got some really, really handy portable chargers. So this is a, is it a Bowden's? The little one is a Bowden's pack. So it has a mains plug and various other plugs. And that's done us so well, just that one on its own. And then Red won a Power Oak pack on Instagram. And this has been amazing. He's hooked his solar panels to the Power Oak which is super cool. And then this powers the diesel heater as well. So this is the kitchen. This is an old kitchen table that is the kitchen surface. And there's a little tiny baby sink. And there's a little copper tap. It's just a bent piece of copper that forms the tap. And there's a foot pump system. So this is what the kitchen looks like from the outside, from this side. So that's fresh water, waste water, and the pipe up to the sink. And then this is all the rest of the food. Okay, so this is a fridge. It's just a standard Halford school box. It has a little fan on it. You plug it in with a cigarette lighter. Um, but Red has actually hooked it up in the back with a like thermostat sensor so that when it gets down to three degrees, it cuts off and it doesn't take power anymore. And then it kicks back in when it gets to about six degrees. So it does actually surprisingly fit quite a lot in there. There's quite a few of fridge beers in the bottom. We've got lots of vegetables and cheese and milk and just essential bits. And then over here is where we keep like lots of the utensils, like forks and spoons and knives and salt and pepper and like oil and bits and chopping board up here, rogue toothbrush, <laughs> tea and coffee, and just like bits and bobs. And then, well, that's the diesel heater controller up there. That's actually down here and the whole box for that is in there. And then that is just a like temperature controller. And then these are the cupboards for the kitchen. So I, they're probably a little bit messy, but pretty good supply of food in there at the moment. Like, so the pots and pans for cooking and the kettle, Toasty maker, essential. <laughs> and then three like bananas, other bits of tea, ketchup, sauces, that kind of thing in that side. And then in here is, that's our stove top. So I can get that out and show you that in a second. Okay, and I forgot to show kind of the second half of the kitchen, so. Ta -da! Tiled kitchen wall. <laughs> and a cook board, which we've used as our little photo pin board. Cute little snapshot memories. And then in here is just another little shelf with a wine opener, head torch, hand sanitizer. Having a tailgate is really, really cool because it's kind of a, a shelter in itself. And it means that we've been able to use it as like a washing line as well. So we'd put these hook things. I don't know what these are. What are these for? They're the hanging wetsuits. Okay, they're the hanging <laughs> wetsuits. But you do have a bungee cord sometimes that you string between the two and make into a longer washing line for rash vests and everything else because we're basically always in the water if we're surfing or paddleboarding or swimming or whatever we're doing. And there's actually a fancy little handle here and you have created a opening mechanism from the inside. So it's just tied rope around the opening mechanism of the door so that you can open it from the inside of the back. This is like a, one of those shoe storage hangers, but it has all of the essential extra things in it. Like Avon Skin So Soft and Smidge, crucial for being in Scotland. Is that your pee bottle? <laughs> This is Red's pee bottle, hot water bottle, my best friend during the winter, bungee cord, screwdriver, extra microfiber towels, and it fits perfectly in this little space. Carbon monoxide alarm, pretty important, by the diesel heater. This is the end piece to the bed mattress, and there's some space behind here. Normally, this is where one of the paddle boards goes, but I've just put my shoes and boots there out of the way, and that's just a carry bag that I use for muddy boots. That's the diesel tank for the diesel heater. So it's got a separate, separate diesel tank and that's the clicker. What is it? Pump. <laughs> that's the pump. Okay. Should we do that again? <laughs> that can probably just stay in. So a couple of other things. Fairy lights. Crucial. And some jute rope. Again, crucial part of that life. And then this sort of 
canopy that we've used magnets to magnet to the roof is kind of just a very cheap easy solution to stopping roof condensation or at least stopping it dripping so that was a pretty good little adaption that we made and there's the magnet lights on here that just turn on i'll show it when it's dark and i'll show the fairy lights when it's dark <laughs> And then the bulkhead that we've carpeted with four-way stretch, we left this in and personally I wouldn't leave the bulkhead in because I really like getting from back to front but because we're always away together, Rid uses the van for every day, driving to work, everything and he prefers having a separate living and driving space and it is quite a spacey cab and it's quite nice just separating relaxation and driving time so that's why the bulkhead is still in and it's got a little window so that we can see through the back we always fold the sofa down when we're driving so that you can see really clearly all the way through the van so we didn't talk about the back curtain which yeah it's just an ikea blind that you've used um what do you call those hooks the clips, sorry. Giant bulldog clips, I'd call them. What clips? Bulldog clips. Oh, bulldog clips. And then I've got magnets on them. And this is a fancy condensation hoover. <laughs>